What's up guys? Today I'm going to uh, show you how to save, edit, and into your party. Now, I advise you to do this after you um, unlock the, uh, the change party option, which you get on the 8th, 13th, that day when you get Juna. I'll just switch parties out and all that, because before this you can't do that. As you can see, I don't got Grease in the party right now. Right the squad. And this this option is permanent, for real. Uh, unless you edit the save again, you can't remove him. But you can put him in, put him out whenever you want. So yeah, we got the regular squad right here. Okay, so you have to go to your uh, metaphors through save folder. You gotta go through your app data Roman, whatever your username is. Metaphor, uh, demo, if it's the demo, you do the demo. If not, you do this, and this save right here. Then you have to go to uh, 450. You can need a hex editor, so like HXD. So you go to 450. So you go right here and you see it says these four digits right here. You gotta change it. So you change the uh, OA to three. Because that's what it is uh right here. To have it's it's like it's comp based, like you don't just add one, just him. You it's like it's team based off of who you get, so you can change that right here. So be right here, save that. And you see it change, and then you go back into the game. Okay. Back to you. Regular save, not the auto save. Okay, go back to your party. See, now you see Grius is here. You just take one out, put him here. Now, I've already like upgraded him a lot already. That's why he looks very powerful like this. I've upgraded him. And I unlocked archetypes from him. Now, when you try to unlock archetypes from him, make sure you unlock. Uh, the feature where you can do it from the menu and you get that after let's see yeah uh yeah right here Moore's magic igniter you get this after you uh level up a little bit it just doesn't take that long and then you can uh use the archetype menu from here if you try to like go to his actual place and do it all in a lot of archetypes of it's just gonna freeze as soon as you try to leave but if you do it through this, you can do it just fine. You're gonna lock all of these, no problem. Oh, well, damn, it crashed. Uh, well, that crash is, I think that crash was because I already unlocked everything and it just crashed. It didn't crash before when I did it, but just go back in there. And yes, it can be unstable. Uh, I haven't tested, I haven't tested it fully, of course, but like I know story battles, sometimes she glitches out. But that was like before you actually unlock the party thing and I was using it. Because it, it uses set characters. But with this, once you unlock this, I, I don't think you do that no more. So yeah. Back to party. Boom. Here and all of that. Alright, let's go. Uh, here we go. See? Got him, no problem. Like, the coolest team member, you ask me, they always kill off the really cool guys in these games. I don't know why. But it's, it, you know, this is why I love PC games. Because we can, we can do shit like this. Now I just want to figure out if we can, like, give uh, the main character and stroll his soldier uniforms back. Hopefully. That's, that's a little trickier. I'm on, I'm on a hunt for that too, so stay tuned. But you see, it works pretty fine, no problem. It's definitely, I don't think it's gonna crash too much in like optional dungeons because there's no scripted there, it's just whoever you got. So let's go on a fight. 
I am really strong in it. I did this dungeon a little late because I was trying to unlock the party at a specific first, so I skipped a lot of stuff. Yeah, you see, for the first, first boss, no problem. You level up just how you used to. Yes, Assassinator. I'm way overpowered here. He still uses his little special melee move to the Phantom. I forgot the name of it, but the Phantom move too. He still uses that as well. See, Phantom Dance, yeah. But it doesn't scale up to his damage, so that's how you know he wasn't most supposed to be playable to this point, because it doesn't scale to his level or to his actual strength. Yeah, that's how you do it. Very simple, not hard at all. Hope y'all enjoy. Fool is out.